you can be seated. Oh, oh boy, that was beautiful. I said that was beautiful. That was wonder. Full. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> praise God. <laughs> And now is the time of the service where um, we would like to welcome our visitors. <clears throat> Will all of our first time visitors please stand? <laughs> well, w welcome, sister. Will you um, please tell us your name and where you're from? Hello, I'm uh, Joanne Ralston, visiting from Detroit. And I'm here because Pastor Randolph and I used to be neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome, Mrs. Rost. Now, today's sermon is from the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Love thy neighbor. <laughs> Cannot believe it. After all this time. <laughs> David Randolph, look at you. You know, everybody back home used to call him String Bean. <laughs> Make sure Mrs. Dixon does not put that in the bulletin. <laughs> well, I'd like for you to meet Mrs. Joanne Ralston. She and I were neighbors when I was growing up. Hello. Actually, it's uh, back to Miss. Jack and I are divorced. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for his new wife. Miss <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ralston and I would like to have some time to visit. Well, you do know he's a religious man now. Oh, Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I moved 2,000 miles to get away from that nickname. Yeah, well, you can run, but you can't hide. <laughs> David, look at you. You're a minister, the man in charge. Everybody treating you with respect. Well, you didn't meet Mrs. Dixon. <laughs> you know, to me, you are still the same sweet, charming, nervous teenager next door. Me? <laughs> no, 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 Ten years ago, and my parents were there. <laughs> yeah, and you gave the beef stroganoff that I made to the dog. You didn't think I knew about that, did you? Yes, <laughs> uh, I, I wasn't as slick a 15-year-old as I thought. <laughs> so, are we going to dinner? <laughs> uh, gee, you know, it's, it's really early for dinner. Now, David. You're not afraid to have dinner with an old friend, are you? <laughs> no, it's uh, just that I've already made prior arrangements. Hmm. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> but uh, if you do change your mind, here's the number at the Hotel Fairmark where I'm staying. Mm-hmm. Call me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, aren't you going to walk me out? Yes, of course. My manners. <laughs> <laughs> This is a goodbye, huh? I guess so. It was good to see you. It's good to see you. Uh, nice to meet you. Will we be seeing you again? <laughs> <laughs> give you that idea? Well, just a matter of uh, deductive logic. Like, one, your little lady friend came to church looking mm, good. <laughs> two, there's the smell of uh, sweet perfume all up in your office. <laughs> and three, bam! <laughs> I read this little note she left on your desk. Player, player. <laughs> T, you have all the clues, but you are still clueless. <laughs> what, you're not gonna see it tonight, Rev? No, I'm not. You know what, Rev? I don't blame you. I saw when she walked in that church today, and I think she was looking for more than just salvation. <laughs> T, even if that were true, which it is not, I have nothing to be afraid of. I can look temptation in the eye and be strong because I believe in the things that I preach. Yeah, but you never ran across a woman who wanted nothing to do but to run across you! <laughs> T, just because I am a preacher does not mean I don't know something about the ladies. Get out of here! Oh, boy, please. <laughs> T, I wasn't born a pastor. No? No, no. I stumbled down a lot of dark roads. Well? I've been through a lot of nasty alleys. Well, go ahead, Reverend. Been through some funky, 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 funky times. Well, how funky? Before I found the Lord. Well, hallelujah. So don't tell me, because I am who I am now, that I don't know a little some something. <laughs> about the women folk. Reverend, please. He ain't been down no funky dives, no dirty alleys. Why are you front? <laughs> well, I had a cousin that got into a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> Reverend, you and I have to talk. There are far too many doors in my office. Now, I certainly hope you're not planning on seeing that divorcee anymore. Mrs. Dixon, I am getting tired of everyone telling me what is appropriate and what is not. Now, I know who I am, and I know how to live my life. I have been afraid to see an old friend just because of what everyone might think. That was wrong. What's more important is what I want to do, and what I want to do right now is see my friend for an innocent dinner. Well. Yes. May I leave a message for Miss Ralston, please? You know the divorcee in room 1562. <laughs> yes, please tell her that her old dear friend, Reverend Randolph, would be happy to have dinner with her tonight. Yes, thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, Mrs. Dixon, I have a dinner to attend. Well, Reverend, don't be surprised when the whole church is talking about this. Mrs. Dixon, I happen to believe that the people of this church have more important things to do than worry about who I see for dinner. <laughs> it is just an innocent dinner. <laughs> Hi. 
Hey, David. Glad you changed your mind. Come on in. Uh, I, I just wanted to let you know I was here. I was calling from the, the hotel lobby, but your line was busy. <laughs> I uh, <clears throat> was counting on traffic for the football game, then I realized L.A. doesn't have a team anymore. <laughs> Come on in. Okay. I'm glad you're early because you have got to see these pictures that I brought from your neighborhood. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> There's a summer you got that new Camaro convertible. <laughs> Look at yourself in the picture. That's the summer you got your new mustache. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you know, that, that thing never really did grow in. <laughs> I had to get my mother's eyeliner pencil and pencil it in. And <laughs> then I started sweating and the mustache started running down my chin. <laughs> I really thought I was Mr. Man. <laughs> yes, you were <sighs> so handsome. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you, you ready to go? Actually, I thought we eat in. Hotel restaurant? Yes. <laughs> I uh, ordered room service. You, uh, you want to eat here? In the room? Well, David, that's what room service is. Oh, and, uh, I ordered beef stroganoff for old time's sake. Great. Good. Then that's settled. Oh, and here. I want you to see, uh, uh another picture I bet you'll remember, huh? Mama took this picture. <laughs> You're teaching me how to slow dance for the prom. I was so embarrassed holding you. <laughs> no, you were afraid to touch me. I, uh, I had to take your hand, remember? <laughs> uh. And uh, put it around my waist. <laughs> right. And then, um... <laughs> hand uh, yeah. and uh <laughs> mama click took the picture <laughs> you still remember how to slow dance don't you uh, sure <laughs> Joanne. <laughs> 
She, she and I were neighbors, and, uh, shake her hand. Yeah, and, and we were just looking at old photographs together and talking about old times. Old yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, listen, it's me right here in the picture. Champagne? Uh, no, I, 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 don't, I don't drink, but, uh, you're right, you're right ahead. Will you open the bottle? <laughs> sure. Have you ever uh, done this before, David? Uh, no, but uh, I've seen him do it in the movies. <laughs> You just say, hey. Kitchen. You remember that, don't you? Uh, uh, your kitchen? No. You mean, you don't remember coming over to my house and helping me to paint my kitchen, Dave? It was, um... Uh, hundred degrees and oh yeah, we were we were both so hot, we were so sweaty. And, oh. No, I don't believe I do. Oh well, anyway. I can remember having to stretch, you know, up so I could paint the top wall. And I could feel your eyes staring at me. I mean, they were like running over the length of my body. Well, you know why I remember that so well, Dave? Because that was the day that I almost forgot I was married. <laughs> Sky blue. What? That was the color of the paint. Sky blue. Yellow was the color of the shorts you wore. 
with a white t-shirt with a picture of Lionel Richie that said three times a lady. <laughs> I remember it like it was yesterday. You know, I always wondered what would have happened then if I had done this. <laughs> and breathe <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> well, we have all the time we need to practice. Okay. Mm. Um. Shouldn't you 